Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video, we're just gonna try and do a full run. I think there's probably a lot of new people still coming into the game. I'd like to do a full run and kind of give people an idea of how I like to do runs and how to actually beat the game. Maybe not necessarily move up in PvP, but beat the game. And beat it easily, some strategies in here that you can... So let's jump into it. Mutagens is probably mode that you want to play on that's the most popular mode it gives you more mutagens right out of the gate what you won't get is you won't have your 50 percent chance at getting your dead troops back but we don't plan on losing a lot anyway this is just all preference we're gonna go i'm gonna run a mage build we'll see how it goes i don't usually run mages i'll try and keep it uh to a minimal length for a video we'll speed up the combat and everything Try and let not have these newbies die. Too many. One. There goes one. That's fine. I'm not too worried about that. But we might switch it and go with shooters. A lot of times, because you can't roll this one, I tend to just wing it and go with what I get. So we'll go with shooters instead of mages. Let's go. Yeah, fine. We'll go. We're gonna lose another newbie. That's fine. So, let's go fighters and shooters. Okay, fine, we're gonna go fighters and shooters. This makes it pretty easy for me to choose those two. Those are pretty good uh, mutations right out of the gate. We got a frontline mutation, we have a backline mutation. So we'll start heading in that path uh, right now. After we win this fight. Important, one of the most important things to do in the game is to upgrade your shop as fast as you can. Now, of course, you want to make sure that you still have troops, but you want to get this shop going in the right direction as soon as possible. Um, let's go with... Yeah, let's do one more. And we'll get this going. Get Harry. Harry Cherenko. Not ideal, but I don't want to spend too, too much here. And we'll level that up as well. Another strategy you'll see me try to employ is using a lot of starvation. You want to kind of manage your food as much as possible, and by that I mean let them starve. You want to let these puny, pathetic humans not have too much food. They don't need full bellies, they just need enough food to survive. There. That's going to be more than enough firepower to beat this boss. With vampirism on our fighters already, it's going to it's gonna make it a lot easier. Because we get 7% of our damage back. In health. There we go. Some of these things, I don't know off by heart what to pick. They, they are locked in in a lot of ways, but there's a, a chance... Right, a 50-50 chance that you'll get nothing or get a positive thing or a negative thing. Um, let's just go with... Uh, we're going to the pub. Or Winchester? Sure, Winchester. Or, okay, let's go. So we got a zombie. We got Ed Frost the zombie. <laughs> um, let's go with... Get back on track with our shop. But we've only got one more upgrade left on the shop and we're, already on le we're only on level 2. So that's great. Ed Frost is going to be a, sacrifi a sacrifice here for us. He's just going to go right to the front. I'm not worried about Ed. He can be kind of like a tank and draw all the attention. We'll use we'll use the zombie as long as we can. I'll take that because I usually end up with it anyway. And leveling these up as fast as you can, you want to get your third mutation as quickly as possible. At least I usually do. And then I worry about figuring the rest of this tree out. I'm far from a pro at the game. I'm in the amateur division 26th right now. But I haven't had a lot of runs either, so I'm pretty happy with that. I haven't had the... 
I haven't had as much time as some folks to put into it. So this is also really good. Put fear or get fear going on our fighters. So we're, we're already getting a really decent build on our fighters. Yeah, it's going pretty decent. And we're still not worrying about food. Not at all. We might worry about it a little bit here and there. Um, I don't want to get to the point where we're starving really bad because we don't have um, we don't have the starvation mutation yet. Once we get that, I, I really don't worry about food a whole lot. Um, let's go with getting that done. And... Well, it's hard to pass up a sale. Let's take that. We're going to go shooters and fighters this run. We're going to just stick you back there for now. So we'll buy a little bit of food here, but again, we don't need a lot. We just I'm just going to give them enough. Just enough. To, to try and manage this, I don't mind it being 30 the 30% 30 debuffs. You get debuff when you start when you're starving. So armor 30% lower, damage 30% lower. Probably gonna lose the zombie and our fighter, but that's fine. Yeah. That's okay here. We're fine in that spot. Now the mage is gonna be our sacrifice. Go up here, maybe we can get some money. Here you're gonna get a choice whether or not you wanna throw five uh, newbies in the pit. That will give you the mega newbie mutation. Or you throw some tokens down there and it'll spit more out at you. So we throw them down there because we're not doing a Mega Newbie run. If you want to check out a Mega Newbie run, I'll put one right here. Um, okay, so we're gonna go. Yeah, we'll do the food and then we'll then we'll then we'll teleport down. Teleportation, managing your teleportation is key in this also. Figuring that out, getting it and Trying to manage your time around the map as well as possible. And we've spent, so we've spent four dollars on food so far. That's not bad. All right, so let's um, come to you one. See if we can get a fighter in the front line here. I don't like to spend too much here on these guys, but like the this level of fighter is good enough to carry you through a little bit. Also, don't spend too much rolling. I, I try to avoid uh, spending so much money just rolling, trying to get the one thing I want. There's lots of opportunities to level up your groups. We'll be able to clear through this now that we've we've got some actual good fighters now. Oh, we beat that pretty quick. And then we'll try and what we'll do. Uh, let's go go in. Someone dies, I'm gonna be mad. Open it. Okay, it's the fencer one. Okay, I wasn't 100 percent sure. Could use that yesterday when I was trying that run. So that will give you a Damn prism 4% on your fencers if you're interested. I'm knowing where you can get that. That's where you can get that one. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's start this going here so we can get this. Uh, get our health regen eventually. Yeah, we'll start killing some of these guys really quick. We've got some strong fighters. We're not going to worry about food yet. Not quite yet. There. So there's our Hungering Fury. The sooner you can get that, that and Valor are two of the best question mark ones, in my opinion. It just gives you so much more attack speed, right? It's it's so nice to have. You just... Then, then you can really, really, really be cheap on food because you're getting a buff for starving. I think it, it pretty well it will offset the fact that you're you're not doing as much damage and you don't have as much armor. You're shredding through bad guys. 
fires increased damage so we got fury on our fighters our fighters are coming along really nice already okay we'll go in here again we have a teleport that we can go to after this fight so that's nice Trying to decide if we want to have all the fighters early. I don't usually do that. Level that up. There's an opportunity for me to try and get up to 100, and I might try and get up to 100 so that we can get our last mutation. You know, no, we'll do this way. We'll go this way. We'll do that. It doesn't cost you food when you when you teleport like that, so that's really nice. We, we didn't suffer there. We'll buy this gun. Yeah, we'll buy that gun. We'll buy it, and we'll just store it over here. Sometimes I do like to just keep things stashed away for later. Is there anything attached to this room? No. Okay. Now we're kind of getting to the hungry part, right? I don't like to be this hungry all the time. You take 60% hits on everything. Again, buy one. Go here. Teleport up. Doesn't take any food. Then we can go into the boss fight with full stomachs. So the next level... What I usually do, and you can get it earlier, I've had it as early as level two, is I'm gonna focus on get saving up $100 so I can get this altar. And then we get three mutations per level. Um, the tower, I never seem to get anything good out of this or that. I always get to check your server connection. I always get that, I, I never get anything good out of that one. Um, let's go with... Yeah, let's just save, I think, at this point. We're trying to save up our tokens to, to get to a hunt. Sooner the better. This guy's gonna get destroyed because he just doesn't have enough. He's not powerful. Maybe we can... squeeze out one more. Yeah, you know what? We will do that. Okay, there. Get the 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two will help. I'll still be able to... I should be able to still get our 100, uh, 100 tokens. Spread the damage out. Go down here and try and get more mutations. Maybe we'll get some more luck on our side with the mutations. That guy's getting bopped all over the place. Okay, we lost that shooter. I, they survived longer than I expected to. Billy's more likely to trigger. Let's see if we can get something different. There we go. Got critical strike on our fighters. We're getting pretty good stuff here early for the fighters. I'm digging that. That's that's a good good start to the to the run. Okay, we'll take a little bit of food, just enough again. Not bad. Again, like I said, I'm not like a... I don't claim to be a pro at the game. I just have fun with it. Um, there's people that are way, way more knowledgeable than I am in it, but I'm, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun, and I love sharing the content of the game. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going for the 100. I want to make sure we get it. I'm tempted to start getting more fighters, but we'll do that. We'll do that on the next, uh, next level. We'll really load up on, on troops. Here we get another mutation. So we're going to prioritize our fighters, but if we get more for shooters, we'll take it. I won't complain about it. Rubber bullets. I feel like rubber bullets are really good. I mean, why not, right? Your bullets are ricocheting and everything. Just You're just putting things everywhere. 
all kinds of status effects can happen. One of the reasons why shooters are considered the strongest class by many, right? Uh, I did a, I did a tier list uh, video actually just last week. If you want to check it out, I'll uh, I'll put a link to it at the end of the video. And uh, yeah, they they're pretty they're pretty high up there. Again, we'll just take a little bit of food, just enough. We'll go kill this boss. We've got our money. Let's do it before I accidentally go down the tube and regret it. This guy, this boss is, oh, arguably one of the hardest bosses in the game. It's so weird that this boss is the level four boss, but it ends more runs than any other boss in the game for me. It's just, it's just tanky. Its attack speed is good. And the fact that it has a knockback makes it really, really hard to get, get damage in consistently. It's going to kill this guy. Well, maybe not. Yep, dead. <laughs> it was close. Again, I'm running with not many people, but you can see that it's it makes it... It's a tough boss for that stage of the game. Um, when you hit with the fridge? Danny died. Oh, jeez, who's Danny? Nobody died. <laughs> I don't understand that. Oh, well, we'll, we'll take it. Take you... Let's get some more, let's get some more Saitamas going here. Some more One Punch Men. There. Feel better about that. And we'll start focusing getting this leveled up, get our attack speed up. Also. We don't have Valor yet, so we'll take some damage in here. Valor's a, a, an important one to have early game. Get that up again. The more attack speed we have, the, the, the better. Okay, we'll go over here. And we're getting that attack speed because of the Hungering Fury, so that's nice too. So we're going to be getting a lot of attacks off quickly. There's Valor. We'll take it now. We're on a zombie floor. It's nice to get Valor around level, before level 5, if you can. I think that's where we are. Yeah, level 5. It's nice to have it beforehand. The earlier, the better. Because you just get that plus 10 armor for every single enemy. The, the way it works is if there's more enemies on the other side, then you have fighters. You get plus 10 armor for each one on the other side. So you can get hundreds of extra armor sometimes. Take just enough. Not bad. Well, we'll take it. Now we're kicking some butt. Health again. Back speed again. There's no real, like, I mean, there, there's no real rule to how to do this part where you're leveling these up. That's, it's a lot of its preference. You just kind of go with what you prefer to do. I like to... I like to make sure my health is good. I'd rather not be replacing troops if I can avoid it. I don't pass up on the sales when when my when my number one fighter comes up for sale, we buy it all the time. You can put another thing here for the sale, but it, to me it's debatable whether or not leveling this up is is beneficial. You're getting an extra 10% cheaper. It's debatable. In my opinion. <laughs> I just expect people to be like, Goddard, you're a moron, man. This thing, this thing's great. You gotta get that 10% discount, man. Um, yeah, let's just keep on moving. We're gonna have to get some food here. Uh, we might end up having to sack somebody. 
do it here. We'll buy you. Sometimes you have to do it this way too. You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Get in the hole, Luke. One more. So that's, that's not great management, but sometimes I can't help it. Better than throwing someone that I don't want to in the hole. No, we'll take that this time. And we're done level five already. That will buy. We're still gonna be starving, but we're I'm trying to manage it as best as I can. I'm still getting better at that. There's times where I buy food and I go, ah shit, I shouldn't have bought food right there, and then there's nothing you can do about it. At least it's not I'm not buying as many sweet rolls. <laughs> As I used to. Uh, what's the From Hell give you? Okay, so this is what I'll do with this, is I'll put them out there. Right. Fencers. So basically what I'll do is Jane the Samurai is now going to be my front line until Jane the Samurai dies. They're just going to go in there and sacrifice themselves. That's how I'm doing it. Um, let's go with... I'm tempted to buy another shooter. We won't yet. Get that leveled up again. Being the Samurai will probably be dead on this. That's what I do anyway when I get a class that I don't want. I'd rather just throw them out there. Yeah, I'm feeding them, but they're going to take all the damage so that these guys stay full health. This gives me a couple, like, a couple free rooms. Take that. Some armor on our, uh, on our fighters. And that's what the build is going to be based around. It's going to be fighters. We're going to be throwing people in the pit again. Jane might be... Oh, Jane's going in the pit. Jane's gonna be going in the pit. Um, I maybe should throw Jane in the pit right now. <laughs> so they serve their purpose. Fighters can burn thirty mana. We'll take it. We're getting all the fighter ones early, so that's nice. It makes it things things just a little bit easier. Um Might buy some more troops here shortly. I honestly think I can probably get away with grabbing the, the lower level shooters and just boosting up their attack speed on my fighters. Probably. Because we're just, we're steamrolling a little bit right now. I can't wait for them to add more to this game. I think there's so much, so much potential to this game. Seriously, it's such a fun game. Like, uh, more more of the events, more, maybe more modes. Something where you can see the things that, uh, fights, when, say you place in King of the Hill, be able to play back fights that people have played against you and see your record, like a combat record. I think that would be really, really cool. We'll take Sticky Blood. Sticky Blood's not bad. A lot of people run cleanse now, and sticky blood doesn't seem to have as much of an effect anymore. But in the event, you you, you don't want to. I don't gamble too much like that with with my mutations. You might run into a team that's really really strong, and then they don't have cleanse and put sticky blood on and you team roll them because they're missing one thing. I 
completely forgot I was chasing this guy. Well, that's annoying. Stop it. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, we'll take the tokens. There. We got our attack speed maxed already. We don't have to worry about that. Downside being, we're going to be throwing people in the pit again, probably. Gonna just be able to get here so that we can buy, buy uh, newbies to toss in the pit. So we're going to have to toss... Well, I think it's just one newbie. Actually, so that's not bad. Yep. And you can see being low low troops, low troop count means that we can get away with managing our money. And then you can max things like getting this maxed out right away. Having this mutation already. And then you can get your, your army built up really quick. In the last few rooms, you can really, you can really, really level up on the last few levels. Yeah, we're good. Boss shouldn't last too long. No, he's dead. The bar. Some questions drink the glowing green liquid well we'll just ask the questions and drink it i don't know maybe he's on I, I never get anything out of that one either some of those ones are a mystery to me i got a couple tutus i don't want that many do we go with tanks we can you can always do the tank strategy and throw some tanks in the corner What we're gonna do is this. I don't have to, but I will. Just for fun. I won't put them all out there. I just want to boost the attack speed a bit. The only gun we're missing is the plunger. There it is. I'll put it out as well. I don't think we're going to have any issues. I just want to get the buff from the attack speed. There we go. Uh, we'll go get some food and then we'll get some, some more stuff. Yeah, right now we're... Because we got our attack speed up so high... We're putting fear and everything on these enemies really, really quick. Now, if you can get away with just running with seven troops, like, I could have done that. I put these two out here. So that means that basically I have to spend an extra coin when I'm buying food. I have to buy 11 instead of seven, I guess. I'm not going to micromanage it that much. Not yet, anyway. But you can see the, the whole point is you want to manage your food. Manage the starvation. It's not, it's not, I think people get, you might get into a panic when you see that bar hit yellow. It's not a big, as you can see, none of these troops are looking any, any worse for wear. They look fine. They don't care that they're, that they're not getting fed. We'll take the stun. We'll start leveling this this tree up as well. You want to get your magic defense up until at least four, I find, is the is the sweet spot. You want to get that up to number four, just in case you run into those pesky mage builds. It's not overly important during the PvE part of the game to get your magic defense up, but in PvP, you definitely do, because if you don't, eh, you're likely going to run into a mage build, and they're going to shred you, or a, or a fence or spin build, or something like that, and they're just going to walk right through. 
Uh, what do we got here? Let's go over here. I don't think we've gotten a mutation yet on this floor, have we? Maybe one. That's a mistake. That shouldn't be there. That's something off of my stream. <laughs> okay, there we go. Super punch. I mean, we're getting some pretty heavy duty fighter uh, mutations early here. I do stream on Twitch. That thing that popped up, that's part of my stream. <laughs> I do stream on Twitch Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays usually at 8 p.m. Eastern. Sometimes during the day. And I do pop-up streams here on YouTube now. Slowly transitioning more and more over to YouTube content. Um, let's go with... Let's do this. Get the health going up. I like to get the health to around number seven by the end. I think you kind of, the economy part of it, 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 it starts to not be worth it after seven. Bad, everybody's doing all right. Fast taunt, it's tempting to take. I don't think we're gonna do a tank build here though. I don't think we will. Sometimes you can do it and, and throw a few tanks in the back corner. Let's avoid it. Uh, fire class receives 30% attack. Get that. Oh boy. Alright, we're going up here. <laughs> we're going to buy some food. We are on the verge of... Being starved right out here. Lock down. Yeah, we're not buying anything there. We'll go in here like this. Has it, uh, this has been a pretty decent run, really. Considering I, I literally just was like, oh, you know what? I feel like recording a more of a detailed run. I've never really recorded one for YouTube before on this game. Um, wow, I don't really know what this one is. I haven't seen this much. Steal for your girls. Steal some of your, the, your zest for life and get 30 tokens in exchange. I don't really know this one. I've only seen it like one time, I think. Um, sounds like an ordinary job deal. For now, we have no just, I mean, what are they going to do? Steal some health? No. I'm not, I'm not. I, I don't know what the, what the bad, what the bad side of that could be. I feel like it would be bad, like really bad. Um, let's go ability cooldowns. Could be good. Let's do that. One more time. Go food. And we're almost done this run already. We are getting close to being done this run. Which is really nice. It's been a, it's been a smooth run. First try, too. I literally just threw the game on, and here we go. Sometimes you gotta re-roll and re-roll and re-roll and, and try over and over and over again. Flagger's class receives plus 30% health. Holy crap. What is this? What is this? We're getting, uh, we're getting some things here. The only thing I have that this was just a random one, but it's, it's been going not bad. Go with... Oh, let's go over here. There, you can see the Valor there, it, uh, the one that gives you more armor. We have 101 armor, so this is like a free fight, no way. So if you have health regen at this stage, you're going to get your health back in there. Those guys aren't going to be doing much damage to, to you when you have that kind of armor. I want to maybe get some more troops here, if I can. I'm tempted to buy more more shooters. Tempted. Do it. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy a couple more. We won't just do the the buff. 
ability cooldown. We'll get that one more time. Probably have to boost our mana regen a bit more. I want to have our troops leveled up if I can if I can help it. 50 spiky armor on the shooters. We'll take that. That's pretty decent. I love the spiky armor. Returning damage that you've received back to the enemy just feels so good. Have to do this. I can move this lineup. You can see the shooters. They jump quicker than my fighters are right now, so I can I can move these guys up. I've seen some people put the shooters right in the front line because of that. Okay, we didn't get what we wanted. So at this point, this is where I'll invest in another roll, and we'll see if we can get see if we can get some luck on our last one. We didn't get it. I'll put it on there. So there's our first official wasted one, but we made floor eight before we got one that we didn't want. That's not bad. That's really good. Usually I have a bunch that I don't want. And we're just shredding through these bad guys. Buy a little bit of food. Go here, and then we'll go back. If you guys want to see more Let's Play runs, let me know in the comments. Or like the video. I haven't done it. I really haven't done many Let's Play videos on my channel. I do meme runs on this game and things like that, but I haven't done anything really Let's Play related. If you want to see more types of builds, see how I do it, then let me know in the comments. I'll uh, I'll try anything out. The best run I've had so far was actually uh, the spinning fencers with mages. That was probably my strongest build I had. Just kind of fell into that one. We'll buy another one of those. Get the Punishers going. We're definitely going to win a couple fights in the King of the Hill. We're, it's not going to be... We're not going to crush it, but we'll, we're going to win some fights. Maybe one more late. And then these guys are just going to be kind of backlining. They're just back there to survive. Not for any other reason than, than the buff that they give you. The rubber bullets, the laser beams, the laser beams that are made of rubber, <laughs> they really bounce. Uh, let's go with put mana regen up again. I haven't really been watching to see how much our re our mana is depleting. I don't think it's too bad. So I'm not gonna do it. But if you go with let, if you do the surgery, you run the risk of. I mean, you can get a buff, but you can also. <laughs> you also run the risk of having your shooters be completely useless. And they become melee fighters. Call me a baby. You can call me a wimp in the comments, too. I'm not going to do it for the sake of the run, because I'm not wiping the run for this. <laughs> it, it could be really good to have, but. If this was if, if this wasn't like a planned video, I would I would totally go let's go baby. But no no, we're gonna keep our eyes. <laughs> I feel this is this could have probably if, if this could maybe been one of my better runs, and I, I just walked away from something that could have made us way stronger. But 
You don't want to... If, if it turns those guys into melee fighters, the run's garbage. Like, literal garbage. <laughs> Magic shield? Sure. We need food. There we go. At this stage, I might have to put another fighter out and start spreading the damage out. They're starting to take a bit of damage. Get delayed pain. Yeah, I'll probably put one more out, just to be safe. Taking a little bit more damage than I want. We gotta buy this. Here we go, we'll go over here talk to our boy Murgle. Handsome. This is where you get the bite for uh, your fighters, which I think is pretty overpowered in the sense, especially not that it's not because it's an overpowered station. It's overpowered it, that it's guaranteed. It might be an overpowered mutation, but it's definitely overpowered when you figure in the fact that it's a, a guaranteed mutation. I don't care about the experience. I don't want that. I, I hate running into teams that do this, too. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I mean, we're not running, like, crazy abilities, though, so maybe it would be good for us. I don't know. I, I, did, I don't usually take it. Okay, we'll take this. It can be really frustrating, though, like, when you run into that build. Health. Get a troop here. Maybe. Buy another laser beam? Sure. 16 bucks, we'll take the laser. Oops. Uh, let's go up here. We're gonna have to go and get food again. This probably has a food room above it, but I don't trust it. I'm not gonna just... I'm not gonna bank on that. Um... Oh, we can go to Murgle, too. Let's just do that and get that over with. You can feed him here on this floor or the next floor. You can feed him. We'll take, take the power. We get the mutation bite. All right, so that's fighters deal 1% of an enemy's current HP as damage with every attack and heal themselves for the same amount. It just feels overpowered. That's all. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Yeah, I was right. There's a food food node there. That's fine, though. Buy another gun. Like, force-speeding us these weapons here. Taking it. Go fight the boss and get food. I guess we can do that. It doesn't really matter what way you do it. I like the fact that you don't have to progress the second you kill a boss. I like that in this game. That you can just stay, stay around on the floor and go back and go down the tube after. Um, let's go this and... I think you can see here that managing your food is definitely a benefit. Um, I know one of these. I know one of these is a mage thing, and I think it's like if you go, go X. <laughs> Maybe that's all you can get is the mage buff. I don't know. You can get a good mage buff out of there. I was trying to avoid it. 
Um, do that, then that's finished. I'm not going to level that up again. Cabbages. We're on to the cabbages. Beauty. Damn. Oh, yeah, we'll take the tomato. We'll summon the tomato. <laughs> Why not? It does something. Our tomato didn't even take damage. Damn. That's a good tomato. We got... Oh, no, we don't need that. Flash damage? Look at our tomato go! Holy! Tankiest tomato. And it's like enthusiastic. It's the first thing into the fight every 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 time. That tomato that never shows up late for work. It's there on time. It's very um very prompt. There we go. I mean, we got so much money again. Just uh, bump this one more time. I should really watch this a bit. Maybe I should. Yeah, let's put the mana up one more time. Just so then we're, I'm sure that I'm not going to not using a ton of mana on this build but yeah we'll be safe it's better safe than sorry i always i always like to run that way what are we at okay we got lots of food yeah shooters aren't even using mana Delayed pain on the shooters. Do I have delayed pain on fighters as well? I do. Do it. Some fights and some fights don't even last four seconds. The fight ends in 30 seconds. Do I still take the damage? <laughs> I don't know about that one. We gotta get some food. Oh. Second line of fighters is starting. So. Still get away with just doing this. Oh, we gotta go way over there. Okay, I didn't even notice that. We missed a spot. That will be a food note over here for sure. That's perfect. Then we can teleport up. Get our bellies full and teleport up. Go in. We're almost done. This is level 10, right? So we've only got one more level left. Like I said earlier, I think it's level 4's boss. Feels like the hardest boss in the game to me. These bosses, once you get to this point... They're not very they're not very tough <laughs> they're, they're a cakewalk compared to that level four boss the boys um we can protect you the boys is a really good movie or show i mean oh those guys Totally, he's not totally OP. Yeah, we 
we got some food. <laughs> I just said Saitama because, well, kind of running with Saitama. I could buy a tutu. Let's buy a tutu. It's there. It's available. I want to level this up one more time, and then I'm pretty happy. And we'll just see what happens. I have no idea how this is going to go in the PvP part of the game. But I'm pretty happy with how the, the run's going. Overall, pretty happy with it. Considering I just threw it on thinking, well, you know, I'm going to record something for these people. <laughs> Do a little bit of an over-explained version of the game. Mana burn. I mean, we have mana burn on our fighters. So if you get mana burn on both, like, that could be good, right? But this is probably better. Give me a 50% chance to evade. I'll take the survivability. If I didn't have both options there, I would have taken the other thing, like, guaranteed there. It was just... The thought of burning 60 mana off of enemies is very appealing, though. And maybe would have been the right choice. Spiky armor on our fighters? Feels good. Yeah, out here with the fighters. We've almost got 15 mutations. Uh, we can get away with one of these. We need 80 food? 90 food? Or 90, 90 bucks. Okay, 90 and we get that and then we're good there. Level that up. Not bad. Yeah, we won't do tank stuff at all on this run. I'm just gonna... Gonna wing it at this stage. see how we do. I mean, we've got good mutations. We've got decent mutations. We'll have to come back for that. We'll go over here. Nothing. And we'll go to the next food node and see what's in there. It's so nice when they give you teleportations to food nodes. It makes your life so much easier. got one off. Wow. I didn't think they were going to get anything off there. Um, I can go... Eh, eh, eh. We're going to do a big loop. Do it. Oh, never mind. We'll go here. Three food nodes that you teleport to. Well, isn't that lucky? Have that up. I mean, that's... I would like to put that up higher. Maybe this, too. I, I don't think I'm losing mana that badly. I mean, but if you got mana burn... Suck. Another shooter? Just because I can. Not because I need to. As I can. <laughs> Why not? They should actually be behind.
Okay, uh, let's go here. I think we can get our mutation. We'll be, well, we'll probably we'll be able to finish the map off this. Boss room might be below that other one over there. Beautiful. I mean, that officially makes it so that we've got 15, 15 fighter mutations. I don't know if I've ever had 15. Is there anything else I really, really wanted? I thought about that, but maybe not. Another laser. I'd rather have another fighter. Do this. Okay, we're gonna go over here, get this, and then come back. I don't wanna leave any room untouched. Not enough. Um, Curtis path is this way? I wasn't sure if I had finished all my mutations or not. This is the build. This is, this is basically the build that we're going to be going with. That's fine. I'm not, uh, not sad about that one bit. actually just go down there. No, I'll actually go up there. I'm I'm over managing it now. Can we get to this food node? We can. Beautiful. Do I have enough money to feed my team? Not really. We'll spend this. I don't think I have enough. Yeah, we'll just buy that. It. Like a couple bucks. All right, guys, here we go. I feel like we've done pretty decent. Get this last little gunner out there after this fight. Fight Despot, and then uh, go into the King of the Hill and see how we do. Run hasn't taken too long. We're pushing. We're about an hour for the run, so that's not awful. Shouldn't be a big. This should not take long. Yeah, you didn't get to summon anything, so that's nice. When that when you can get to that good, that's really nice. He's not happy. Oh, he managed to summon something. Or he almost did. Didn't summon a thing. That feels good when that happens. All right, so we're going to put out our little guy here. Kind of bump you all around over the place. Now, do we do mana regen or do I roll for another fighter? Probably mana regen. Let's do one more mana regen just for good measure and go. That's it. That's the build. That's my team. We've got, we had really good mutation drops overall throughout the entire run. We only had a few that didn't drop the way we wanted them to. It's not a bad build, right? We've got a lot on fighters. We got some decent stuff on the shooters. Let's go for it. Let's see where we land. See if we can win a couple fights anyway. Solar. I think I fought Solar a couple times already. This is gonna blow right up. There's not you won't be able to see what's going on. <laughs> I saw they had a shooter build too. I was like, yeah, this is gonna be a mess. Oh, 
Not bad. There I am there in 26th. Can we beat this team? I don't know. I don't think we can. Oh, 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 oh. Best run I've had so far this season. <laughs> that is a heavy shooter team. Wow. The back line's dead. Oh, I lost. Just barely. Just barely. Oh, no way. That was close. I thought maybe I had a top 10 build. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I don't even know what the damage was there. I was so close to top 10. We lost to this team here. But we're up 20 anyway. That is a lot of laser beams. <laughs> oh, we got too much fear down here. Yeah, our, our, we didn't have fear on some of our guys. And yeah, we got shredded by this team. The way it works is kind of funny because, like, I came much closer to beating the 12th place team than this team, than the 15th place team. Again, the shooters with fear is bad. Like, it's so hard. There, I got it back. That made up for the time that I, I just about, I just about won. Amazing game. We move up to 16th. I don't think so. Nope. Where did we land? 17th. So we moved up from, what was 26th to 17th? That was the best run I've had so far in the amateur group. Not bad. Not bad at all. Guys, thank you so much if you watched the whole video. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for all the support you guys give me. I love this game. Love making content around it. Let me know if you want to see some more runs. Let me know anything you want to know about the game. Try and do my best to answer your question. Thanks, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.